We're six days into our 40-day Daniel fast and what I hope becomes more of a lifestyle for you, incorporating things that you can keep forever to make sure your health is pretty good. And so we'll begin with our recipe this week. Uh, I'm sorry, for this day. I promised you yesterday that I would show you how the how day five's recipe turned out. And so we'll begin with that and we'll move from there. Praise the Lord that you don't have to see me. I have to adjust the camera angle. So I actually can't show you the recipes and be on camera at the same time. But that's okay because I've been looking at myself on camera and like, woo, I need the Daniel fast. So this is yesterday's recipe. And remember, you call it what you want. We don't know what to call it, but we love it. And I placed on top just a dollop of sour cream. And I told you for this Daniel fast, I'm not going to be as strict as I've been in, in prior years. Because again, this is how I want to eat going forward. And so my favorite brand of sour cream is Daisy. It's all natural. It's thicker than processed uh, uh, sour cream. And so I think it's a bit healthier as far as health goes with sour cream. But this is what it looks like. It's delicious, very hot. And so you can adjust the peppers that you add to make it less hot. I think it'll work for you. So now today's recipe is cauliflower mashed potatoes. I have to watch my cholesterol. I could eat potatoes morning, night, and noon, but not good for me, not good for you either. And so I wanna show you a recipe that I make, again, off the internet using cauliflower. This is cauliflower that I purchased at the grocery store. I just brought it home. I didn't even parboil it or boil it a little bit first. I just stuck it in plastic bags and put it in the freezer. And it comes out like this, it looks just like this. So what I've done is I've taken the cauliflower, I put it in a pot and I boiled it. Listen, you boil it for no more than 15 minutes because as it absorbs the water, it gets unusable. So you want to boil it for no more than 15 minutes. It looks like it's not uh, ready, but don't worry, trust me. You're going to use a food processor. So in the food processor, I've placed the cauliflower. Again, this is, this is the butter we use. This is Smart Balance. This is a vegan butter. Um, doesn't have the dairy in it. And you add as much butter as you want for taste. So that's about all I'm going to use. I have about, this is about half a head of cauliflower. Both bags is about half a head. So out of a head of cauliflower, you can probably get four bags distributed evenly. So I put my butter in, or my vegan butter, and then... I salt and season it to taste. You know, I always love my cracked black pepper. So, put that in. In a regular food processor. Now, if you don't have a food processor, a blender will work. Um, it really will. But you just have to clean it more. And it's going to take a little longer. So, this is garlic powder. Um, that's how I like to season it. And this is parsley, just so I get a nice color going in it. Now, so put the lid on my food processor. I usually start with pulse. A little bit to get the seasonings mixed up in it. You pulse it, you get it to the texture you want it. Now, remember, these are not potatoes, and so you're not going to get the same texture as potatoes, but you can get close. So after, I 
I've gotten the butter and the seasoning mixed up in here. Oops, you know what I forgot? I forgot the salt. I did not do this without salt. And again, because we are health conscious, we're not trying to do too much with salt. But I'm going to add just enough that I know will season it. Okay, we're going to continue. Now, I usually put it on puree. Doesn't liquefy it, but it gets it to a softer texture. Sometimes you have to push it in to get it up under the blade so that you get a finer texture. Then we go back to the puree. In the interest of time, I'm going to continue. Again, I'll take a picture or I'll put it live on tomorrow's meditation just so you can see. But when you take this out, whatever texture you get it to, you can get it as smooth as you want or you can get it as grainy as you want. The important thing is to get the seasonings that you want to get it to taste the way that you want. This ground or mashed cauliflower works to give whatever you're eating a weight, a texture. So if you're having mixed vegetables, you can put this with it to give that plate of vegetables a heavier texture, a fuller meal. Um, whatever you use, grilled portobello mushrooms, whatever, as your main entree, you use this to make it a heavier and more balanced meal. You can put gravy on top of this if you like, um, a different kind of gravy, not necessarily gravy with all the grease and the butter and stuff in it, but this will help give you a rounder meal less, much less carbohydrates and starch, which works to give us high blood pressure. Try it. I think you'll like it. Let's get ready for our hymn and our meditation.
Let's begin our meditation. As you are sitting or lying down comfortably, your back is straight. And we begin by taking a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Eyes open, deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Deep breath in through the nose, last time out through the mouth, and then we close our eyes. Now focus on your natural breathing pattern. Don't control it. Don't slow it down or speed it up. Just observe. Observe how either your chest or your stomach rises and falls. How your body expands and then contracts. Remember, if your mind wanders, bring it back to the breath. Now feel the weight of your body either on the chair or against the foundation, whatever you're laying on. I want you to experience this, this meditation as real, to know that you're real, that you're here. Focusing on the breath, feeling the weight of your body. We're now relaxed. And so on this day, we're going to move from the outer court, still bearing the light, the light that has bathed us from the top of our heads to the toes and the soles of our feet. Feel that light, the light that has addressed all the tension in your body. And now, we turn towards a heavy curtain that separates the outer court from the inner court. We walk toward the heavy curtain still bearing the light, and we go through the curtain still bearing the light. Stay here for a moment. Because before now, only the priests could enter here. But now it's your turn. And so stay for a moment. Just be still, standing in the light of love, the love of God, in a place that you now have access to. It's a little dark on the other side of this curtain, but it's illuminated by the light that you bear. Stand here and appreciate where you are. Look around. To your left is a lampstand. It's lifted high. It has eight lights, and the light from the lampstand connects to the light that you bear. And there is no distance, there is no separation. You and the light stand are in the same light. When you look to the right, 
There's a table there. The table of showbread. As you look on the table, there are 12 loaves there. One for each tribe of Israel. Directly in front of you is another heavy curtain. And the presence of that curtain makes the inner court that you're standing in a complete square. In front of the curtain is an altar where incense is burning. You can see the smoke rising from the altar. The smoke is the prayers of the saints offered by the priest. But soon, these prayers, your prayers, will be offered by you. Stand for a moment in the presence of the inner court and just take it in. You're in the light. You're bathed by the light. You're connected to the light of the lamp. You have the showbread. You have the altar of incense. But even more important, you have access. And so while you're in the midst of the room, just raise your hands. See yourself with your hands raised and give a prayer of thanks to God. Not only has he allowed you in, he has welcomed you in. He has taken from you that burden that you could not fix, the one you could not change. He has washed you in the power of his word and you are bathed now in the light of his love. Give him praise. Give him thanksgiving. Give him your love. He has brought you in from the sand, from the dust. He has welcomed you into the outer court. And he has brought you into the inner court. Give him praise. Now, return to the breath. Be aware of your natural rhythm. Feeling the weight of your body. Take in a deep breath through the nose. Out through the mouth. Again, deep breath through the nose. Out through the mouth. One last time, as deep as you can make it. Out 
out through the mouth. Gently open your eyes and just sit still for a moment. Just be still. Notice how you feel. Notice how your body feels. Notice how your heart feels. Grace and peace.